Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to make epic dramatic rock spires for your wargaming terrain suitable for all kinds of scales. Let's start by taking a look at the tools and the materials. So these are the tools and the materials for the first stage of the building. For this I'm going to use the beaded polystyrene which we are going to cut with a knife. Yes I know it's messy and I would recommend a hot wire cutter but mine was laying around at a friend of mine so I just used this crafting knife so be it. Then to glue everything together we are going to use the hot glue gun and then finally we need 3mm MDF bases and we are going to start this video with a quick recap on how to make these MDF bases. Without further ado, welcome to the workshop. That's it for the MDF bases. Now let's continue by making the basic shapes for the rocks. Continue this process until you are happy with the results. If you would like to know how to make these plaster casts, check the description below for a link to a previous video. Now let's take a look at part 2 of the tools and the materials. For this I used Luke's APS modeling compound. In the past I would use speckle or, or PVA mixed with sand or something like that. And it would always take a long time to dry ladies and gentlemen this dries in about 30 minutes flat and you can start painting fantastic product out of all the hobby youtubers i would say that luke has the best merchandise that you can buy as it's actually really handy and useful stuff luke big thumbs up buddy i'm going to mix this with a little bit of just normal water and for this i use these bendable plastic cups I've seen people talk about how you have to use glass containers to make uh, plaster materials or to work with plaster materials, horse shit in my opinion. These are really cheap, they are really handy to work with. As you can see you can bend them when you pour stuff. For cleaning you just press it together and everything come loose, comes loose from the side. As I said I paid like 2 euros about two dollars and a half for this so I would say get it plaster knife and then another looks APS product the base readies I already did a fantastic review if I say so myself about this product you can go and check the video and I'm going to glue this to the models with PVA glue ladies and gentlemen I've cracked the code about slow drying PVA glue I see a lot of YouTubers and I see a lot of people bitch about how it takes a long time to dry and that's true. PVA glue does take a long time to dry except when you use top speed. Five minutes ladies and gentlemen. Please don't tell me that's a long time. Five minutes and you can continue working. Just press the two components together and we're done. And that's it. Done. Let's continue with the project. First step in working with our modeling compound is give it a good shake to get all the ingredients mixed properly. And then we take a little bit of the product, not too much as it dries really fast. Mix it up with water until we reach a cottage cheese like consistency is how Luke puts it so eloquently. And then it's time to apply the compound, just use your fingers and cover up all those pieces of exposed foam. Thank you. 
then wet your fingers and smear the compound against the casts so you have a nice transition between the two. Time for painting. I use the three spot method, which means I'm going to use three washes, sepia, black and umber, and I'm going to mix these up with my wash mix. Now, the wash mix is 20% matte medium, 70% water, and 10% flow improver. Mix these two together, and you can make all the washes that you want. Now, I don't bother with counting drops or anything like that. Variety is very important when trying to simulate nature. To apply the washes I use a sponge, simply dab on the colors, I placed the sepia on the casts and then in between all these holes that are left I'm going to apply the umber wash which was made in exactly the same way as the sepia. Just dab it on until you are happy with the results. And then for the final wash, we use black, mixed up in the same manner as the previous washes. And I remove the excess wash with a rag. Continue till you're happy. And then it's time for a bunch of highlights, starting with stone gray. And then a mixture of stone gray with ivory as a final highlight. And then as a final step in this project, I'm going to apply the Lux APS Wasteland Soil. Uh, for this, I use a little bit of watered down PVA glue and I just sprinkle on the mixture to where I want it and let it dry thoroughly. Now because the applied scenics look a little bit patchy, I'm going to add a little bit more PVA glue, just dab it on and add a little bit more of the wasteland soil to blend everything a little bit better together. And that's it for this project ladies and gentlemen, thank you all very much for watching, quite easy to make, looks really cool on the battlefield. Please like, subscribe, you know what to do, follow me on my social media so you can keep up with the Dark Matter Workshop world. Once again, thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.